Hi everyone, welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi everybody, welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this abalone stew in cucumber and mushroom. As its name suggests, we will need abalone. I use uh, two cans of um, limpet or baby abalone, but um, if you have uh, want to use the bigger ones, you can, or even those uh, that's dried one. But those you need to um, put in extra effort to clean them or even stew them longer. But for this, because it's extremely soft, so the cooking time is actually being reduced by a lot. Okay, but first we need to do the stock first. But let me just introduce you to the rest of the ingredients. We will have a sea cucumber. Mushroom. This has been soaked in water and hydrated already. We have the Chinese ham or Qinghua Huo Tui. Uh, it's supposed to look like this, but uh, actually I'll be using these three smaller pieces over here because I've taken out all the fats. I don't want my my gravy or sauce to be too too oily, so I took out the fats and the skin. But this this is how it's supposed to look like the, the thin piece itself. For the stock wise, I have a uh, dried scallops, small dried scallops, and about one kilogram of a uh, chicken leg. For seasoning wise, uh, we'll be using uh, oyster sauce, dark soya sauce, Chinese cooking wine or Hua Tao wine, and pepper. Remember to keep the stock for the baby abalone because we'll be using that. Okay, now let's just uh, put the stock ingredient or sauce ingredient on inside a uh, pressure cooker and uh, let's start doing so. After you fill the pot with water, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of the oyster sauce. Okay. I'm also going to just pour in one cap full of the uh, Chinese cooking wine or Hua Tiao Jiu. For the rest of the ingredient, we will wait for this sauce to be ready before we pop them in. So now let's just cover it up and put it to boil. Uh, basically, I need to boil this three times. Um, once you can see the steam coming out and this thing was to raise up, I just off the fire, wait for it to go down, and I'll reboil again, up again, down again, i reboil one more time. After the third time I've been done, then I'll put in the sea cucumber, as well as the, uh, the sea cucumber first, and then the abalone. I'll show you the step later. Now the pot has come to a boil, as you can see, this present indicator over here is up already. Alright, and this thing is running around. So what I do right now is I'll off the fire and wait for this to go down. Once it goes down, I'll reboil it again. Now um, I think the broth is done. Um, let us just have a look. Smells great. Let's just taste it a little bit. Wow, really good. Okay, next thing I want to do is to remove the chicken leg from this uh, pot itself. So I'm going to use a strainer. Now we will add in the sea cucumber. Notice that I did not cut the sea cucumber first because um, later I just want to pick it up as a whole and then when I want to dish it up, it's uh, much easier. So just put this in. Don't worry about the abalone because the abalone um, later part before serving, I just warm it up for about five minutes or so. You'll be fine. Otherwise, it'll be way too tough. What I do now is I close this back up, the lid, and I do one last time on the boil. This is the stock um, that I um, brewed just now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've, I'm going to screw up some of the soup over here, and I'm going to add in the abalone. As I would wish to darken out the color to make it look more appetizing, I'm going to add in some uh, dark soya sauce. So now we wait for this to boil. Now you can see that this is boiling already. So let's just open this up. Give it a little stir. 
I prepared some um, cornstarch solution over here, which I'll add on to thicken up the sauce. So after thickening up the sauce, what we do is we add about two small cupful of the Chao Xing Jiu or Hua Tiao Wang or Chinese cooking oil. Okay, time to plate. You can see how beautiful the gravy is golden brown and there's no MSG everything has been done from scratch it's pretty easy if you watch, watch the video from the beginning itself and I'm sure your family will actually enjoy this very very much a very wholesome dish full of collagen proteins and as you can see it's a very healthy dish also one of my favorite for Chinese New Year actually so um, if you like our video kindly click like and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.